Don't you love it when you get ready for a wedding and everything looks amazing? Your accessories, your clothes, and then not your hair. It doesn't look nice, but we can fix it. So the first hairstyle that we're going to do is called a French twist them up. You have to brush your hair and apply the Be Blunt Climate Control Anti-Frizz Leave-In Cream. And I'm applying it on the ends as well as a little bit on the top because I don't want any frizz to show. Then you can section off your hair any way that you like. And take a huge section of hair which is from the front. If you have a fringe you can take that. Brush it up. Twist it a little bit. We are trying to create a little bit of puff. And then clip it down. Not with a usual clip. The tic tac clips. And then brush your hair from the back so there are no knots. After that, all you have to do is twist your hair like I'm showing you. Raise your hair like that. And with your hand, make sure that you kind of push your hair up every single time you twist it a little bit more. This is going to create a very clean French twist. Once you're done with that, take all of the extra hair. Twist it like so. And then push it inside of the French twist. And then we are going to be applying a lot of pins in there. Then you're going to remove this clip because it doesn't look that pretty now, does it? This look is amazing for women who love a slick look. The second is the waterfall. Part your hair as you like it. Before you start, apply the Be Blunt High Definition Curl Defining Leave-In Cream to your damp hair. Take a little bit of a section. Divide that section in three parts. We are going to normal twist it two times. Which is you take the front section, cross it over the middle, then you take the back section and cross it over to the middle. Then the third time we're going to take this section, add a little bit of hair from underneath. And then do one braid, take a little bit from the back, include it in this section and do the braid. Now we're going to take this section and we're going to hold it separately. Take one section from below that section. And this section is just going to be let loose. And we're going to take the new section that we've taken. We're going to braid that. Taking some more hair from the back. We're going to do the same thing. Now again, the bottom section, we're going to like this one. We're going to be holding it. Taking extra hair from underneath. Leaving that section. This section, you're going to leave it. And take the new hair in the braid. You're going to keep on doing that up until you get something that looks like this. It will take a little bit of practice. Then take a clip and hide the end portion at the back. Like this. And this is what it looks like. It's really cute, isn't it? It's my favorite too. Now the third is a twisted chino. I hope that's how it's pronounced. Brush your hair. I had already applied the Be Blunt Climate Control Anti-Frizz Leave-In Cream to my damp hair before starting. And then section off a little bit of hair from one side of the part, divide it into two and all you're going to do is twist this hair. And every time you twist it, take a little bit of hair from underneath, add it into one section and twist it. Do not take any hair from the back only from the front and when you keep on doing that you're going to get a very nice beautiful braid like effect which is what we want and then loosen it a little bit with your fingers use a tic tac clip and fasten it in the back now we can take another section from the other side divide it into two and do the same like we did on the other side make sure you only add hair from the front and not from the back and just keep on twisting it Make sure you softly twist it or else you're going to get weird knots in your hair. Now 
once it's twisted kind of try to loosen it a little bit like this see it looks pretty and then fasten it with a clip then you're going to loosely take the hair all around your hand all around your palm like this and just create a really pretty messy bun secure it with quite a lot of these bobby pins or u pins as they call them and this is what it will look like it's pretty cute i hope you guys like this video and i hope that it's useful for you that's it bye bye